Bees are far more than a picnic inconvenience. They are the givers of honey and the providers of pollination to $14 billion in U.S. crops. Even clover needs bees. A lot of farmers put this on their land and, the bee, and it requires pollination by bees and other pollinating insects. Beekeeper James Ald works the 350 hives for Hummer and Son Louisiana Honey in Bossier. There are very few feral bees in this area. Alds says most wild bees locally died off in the early 90s, thanks to mites. Bees do not take care of themselves, that's why there are beekeepers. So operations like Hummer and Son are now hired by farmers for pollinating help, so their animals can still graze and grow. Alds says half the country's bees are in California, helping pollinate huge crops, especially almonds. But there's trouble this year. If there's nothing there. There's no bees on the ground anywhere. There's just a completely empty hive. Now everything from viruses and mites to fungi and pesticides could be to blame for something called colony collapse disorder. Bees dying off by the hundreds of thousands. Since we live in a global economy with instant travel of stuff, we have all the diseases from all over the world in the United States. All isn't ready to say that colony collapse disorder is here or not, but they are seeing a lot more bees dying. Typically, a honey farm like this might see a 10% reduction in its bees over winter time. This time, it's 30%. What would make them start to panic? Another 20%, and they would start to have to change their strategies. Ald says they'll be adding several hundred more hives this year to compensate for their winter loss, and then keep their fingers crossed that the worst is over. Jeff Farrell, KSLA News 12 reporting.